It's been just 16 months since a man opened fire at the Jewish Community Center and Village Shalom Care Center, killing three people. And today, jury selection begins in the trial for Fraser Glenn Cross, also known as Glenn Miller. 41 Action News reporter Dia Wall is in the newsroom. And Dia, what do attorneys say that makes this case so unusual? Well, Patrick, the fact that Fraser Glenn Cross is defending himself in a death penalty trial, not only is it extremely rare, but it could set a new precedent when it comes to cases like this. I, I can't find it another similar case to this, so it shall uh, be precedent setting in many ways. Attorneys like Daniel Ross say it's highly unusual a defendant facing the death penalty would decide to represent himself or go pro se. It is a very unusual thing for someone to go pro se. And so what it says to me is that there is something wrong with him, that, that there is, uh, he's irrational, he's illogical. But that's what Fraser Glenn Cross told the Johnson County judge earlier this month. Cross, an ailing 74-year-old self-proclaimed white supremacist and anti-Semite, will represent himself as his capital murder trial starts today. In April of 2014, the world, even the president, responded to the crime Cross has said that he committed. Close-range shootings of three people, a child, Reed Underwood, and his grandfather at the Jewish Community Center, and a mom, Terry Lamano, visiting her elderly mother at Village Shalom Care Center. All three were Christians. Cross, who has had numerous outbursts already in court, will represent himself, and that means questioning jurors and witnesses. In terms of the victim's family members, I think this is very uh, callous of this individual to do. He has said his motive is less about guilt and innocence and more about a hate message. And I think he's going to be trying to proclaim his message, and the prosecution and the judge are going to repeatedly say that that's not what this trial is about. The prosecution and Fraser Glenn Cross will begin jury selection at the Johnson County Courthouse at 9 a.m. We will have full coverage of the entire trial, both on air and online at KSHB.com. Dia Wall, 41 Action News.